Across Ontario, thousands of families have been left behind by austerity cuts to jobs and services. The Ontario Federation of Labour has launched a public consultation to change that. The People's Budget has travelled to nine communities across Ontario to hear from experts and citizens and to listen to your ideas on how to make Ontario fair for everyone. Tonight I'd like to speak to the deficit hysteria that enveloped Ontario in 2012 and why another round of austerity would be the wrong way to go. This week uh, our institute released a research report that shows Ontario is not weathering the austerity storm well. Precarious work has increased by 50% in the last 20 years. Uh, and there was the really shocking statistic that in Toronto and Hamilton, um, now more than 50% of jobs are either unstable, temporary, part-time of some, some nature. There are two key trends that I want to focus on. First is growing inequality as it plays out in the city and that's growing inequality between the rich and the poor in terms of geographic neighbourhoods, that there are neighbourhoods that are becoming far richer and neighbourhoods that are becoming far poorer, so there's a real disparity. Currently over 383,000 children and their families are living in, in poverty in Ontario. Um, that's approximately one in seven children in this province. Um, and the rates are even higher among marginalized communities. We hope this government can keep the investment of child and families as a priority in this budget. It's important to remember that child and families didn't cause this economic crisis, so we can't expect that it be solved on their backs either. Working class and poor people have to continue to pay increasing fares for a key public service that's the target of ongoing cuts by a current right-wing populist administration in this city. It affects our environment, it affects all kinds of things. And the fact is, there is another huge debate that's going on now, and that's the, uh, how do you fund the capital costs of actually building more, more transit. Austerity isn't working. We are bringing your suggestions directly to the Ontario government to call for new priorities that include every family in our economic recovery. The Ontario Federation of Labour, which uh, represents over a million workers in Ontario, welcomes this opportunity to comment in advance of the 2013 Ontario budget. It's time for a budget that rejects the self-defeating approach and builds a fair society, creates good jobs, and grows our economy. We look forward to sharing our more detailed white paper with the government in early April. Thank you very much. We had some excellent presentations. Uh, here we are in Toronto. Um, this was the gold standard. Ontario was the gold standard in Canada at one point in time in terms of uh, livability and income. Uh, and now it seems to me that at least uh, we've dropped down that scale and everybody is concerned about their jobs. Everybody's concerned about poverty. Uh, clearly these are, these are folks that know what they're talking about. They're hands-on in their communities. Um, they do thoughtful reports. They, they measure what's happening in the community. And tonight they articulated it in a way that blew my socks off. 